Previously on Talk That Talk. One of the questions I always ask Quan whenever I whenever I come up to Worthen is, well, what what's your feeder program look like, or how often do you go down down the street, or you know what you, you know what are they doing down there? And honestly, it's man, it, if it's bad here, if it's bad there, it's it got to be the worst here. <laughs> I well, mean, I, but I oh, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I, I was going to say that that Lace and Quan basically touched on something that I was going to bring up anyway, but y'all kind of fed into it, right? Because you know, by the grace of God, I've been blessed to to teach on all different levels and and a plethora of different situations. So I've been in the more affluent areas, and I've also been in the in what you know what they call the urban areas. And one of the things that that I have been privy to and, and experienced myself is that, like Quan said, in the urban areas, they're not funding these particular situations. I know that me as a band director, I've been I've been a part of a staff or I've had I was the third assistant, but I've also been in a in a situation where I've been the only band director, right? And me being a person who actually cares about what this what the students are learning. I did the best that I could to try to teach my percussion students how to read music. But I also understood that I got a game in like four days. So those kids, unfortunately, are not going to be able to get the amount of knowledge that I'm trying to teach them in, in these three to four days that I'm trying to get this music out here so that we can be able to have this show so that we can have something respectable to put on the field. And so unfortunately, what it comes down to is I may have a couple of percussion kids who leave and they can't read, but that is that. And that makes that look like it's a reflection on myself. And it's really not what I, what I earnestly believe in and Quan kind of hit it as well as I earnestly believe it starts at the university level. And we talk about this a lot on the show. It's because of the fact that you have a lot of people who are leaving these programs and all they want to do is crank up. And when they get to these programs, they're they they can either be percussionists or or drummers or they're they're quote unquote band heads and they get to these they get to these uh programs or they don't get to their these programs and they go to some middle school program and then they try to make that middle school program can't crank up instead of teaching the kids what they're supposed to know from the middle school level and so when they get to high school they're not prepared at high school and then there's probably not a drum instructor there. And that high school band director is like, well, shoot, we got to put a show on the field. And hey, he can play this. He can play this rhythm. So, hey, it's, we good. We just roll it and make it roll like that until they get into somebody's university and the cycle continues. So I think that's another issue and another thing that we have to look at. We have to look at what's happening at these university programs, too, and the instructors that they have at that particular level. And that's just that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I know.